Dr. Jaffe, can you explain the importance of phosphatidylcholine with plaque buildup in the arteries? Yes, phosphatidylcholine is an essential phosphatidyl-containing choline that is built by the body, starting with choline, as in choline citrate, not to be confused with choline by tartrate, but choline citrate that is soluble and metabolically active in the way that we've pioneered, builds acetylcholine, a helpful neurotransmitter in the brain. It builds phosphatidylcholine, which is important in lots of ways, but especially to get toxic matter out of the liver and to make the bile more soluble. But then you need choline in its own right to balance out inositol. So we give the building blocks, and then we enable the assembly inside the body because the assembly inside the body requires magnesium. It requires ascorbate. It requires a few essential cofactors and some minerals and or antioxidants, mostly B-complex elements, because it's always a symphony, a ballet, a choreography. It's always an elegant balance of available essential nutrients, essential, as in choline is essential. Now, there are companies that are selling PC, phosphatidylcholine. And where do they get it from? They get it from lecithin. Now, lecithin is very inexpensive, available by the ton, if you, unless you want more than that. And it's made up of a variety of phosphatides, some of which are phosphatidylcholine. And you can get up to 30 plus percent phosphatidylcholine in certain very expensive lecithins. And phosphatidylcholine is even used today intravenously for people at risk of cardiovascular events. But what we have found over the many years is that enabling the body to do for itself is much more effective even than giving parenterally or by vein a product, a product like phosphatidylcholine where frankly, you don't know what the rest of that item is. So let's say you get an assay and it says, phosphatidylcholine, 35%. Okay, there's 65% of other phosphatides. There's 65% of who knows what in that lecithin. We know a lot about lecithin. <clears throat> I can tell you that sometimes we mycelize some of our soft gels with phosphatidylcholine-rich lecithin that we have assayed ourselves to verify its purity, it's not contaminated, and that there's nothing there like a solvent that could interfere with the beneficial effects of the PC, not to be confused with politically correct, but here it means phosphatidylcholine. And so it's a very important molecule that we help the body build because when you need magnesium, you need more choline-derived phosphatides, and you need more energy from the alkalinizing citrate. And so we want to enable the body to do for itself what it needs, that is make the PC phosphatidylcholine, rather than giving it by vein, which is possible, but rather expensive. And as I mentioned, when you get high phosphatidylcholine lecithin, unless you go to great lengths yourself, you really won't know what else is there. You'll know what someone tells you might theoretically be there, but we know from experience that what is written on a certificate of analysis, a C of A, may cover a multitude of sins as well as disclose what's going on. So important molecule, we're eager to have it built inside the body using the PERC choline citrate, especially when you use along with the PERC Mag Plus Guard, the PERC Potency Guard, and the PERC Lifeguard Mini Capsules.